Despite cultural beliefs and societal norms that favor bearing multiple children, some women in South Sudan say they are using various forms of birth control so they can take care of all their children. Winnie Chirino has details for VOA from Juba. Doreen Aringo, a mother of four, says she started using birth control after having two children who are aged two years apart. Aringo says she and her husband decided to use birth control because the couple did not have enough resources to take care of a large family. Aringo says she and her husband are both government employees with irregular salaries, making it difficult for the couple to provide for their children. The salary wasn't enough to support myself and the two children I had before. So I started thinking deeply by going to get a family planning, at least if I can stay three years. Because these two years was not enough for me that my child was breastfeeding. Aringo says she and her husband agreed to wait three and a half years before having more children so they would be prepared to provide a larger family and allow her body to recover. Grace Pony, a mother of two, says she gave birth to her firstborn when she was still in primary school. Pony says she learned about family planning at the hospital when she took her first child for treatment and medical checkups. Speaking in Arabic, Pony says she and her husband agreed to use family planning so she could finish primary school. That is what I did with my first child. Then I removed it and I gave birth to my second child. It helped me so much because by the time I gave birth to the other child, my body was fine and I had thought of going back to school until I finished primary eight. And now I am in secondary school and the other two children, I will give birth to them when I have done something good to help my children. Juba resident Joseph Amanya, who has three children, says many South Sudanese parents stick to traditional beliefs that encourage couples to produce many children, regardless of whether they can provide adequate support for their families. He says he and his wife agreed to space their children in order to give all of them the attention they deserve. The most important thing why we do family planning is, first of all, is that you are able to take the responsibility of the children that you're going to produce. You don't need to produce children that you will be irresponsible. You won't be able to take care of them. They won't be able to go to school. You won't be able to attend to their medical needs, school, and other basic needs that children need as members of the family. Lucia Valentina, a midwife and family planning expert at Juba Teaching Hospital, says health workers encourage women to bring their husbands to family planning counseling sessions, but there are always women who come alone. Valentina says last week an unidentified man whose wife began bleeding after taking birth control pills came to the clinic to threaten her. The man came to us and then he said, you people who told you to give family planning to my wife without a concern and then say that eh, you don't know that family planning is against our our culture if my wife doesn't produce now what will you do i will suit you to the court valentina says the man's wife lied about discussing child spacing with her husband telling health workers at the clinic that he was fine with it Juba Teaching Hospital offers free family planning services depending on what a couple prefers to use. Valentina says the Depo-Provera injection is effective for three months. The combined oral contraceptive tablets are effective for one month. The implant, which is inserted under the skin, is effective for three years. And the intrauterine device is effective for 10 years. She notes that there can be some side effects associated with birth control. Heavy bleeding, menstruation period, sometimes it will come very heavy. Valentina says many South Sudanese still believe birth control methods make women barren. She says couples need to be educated about family planning methods so they understand their benefits. For VOA News, I am Winnie Serino in Juba.